Hey everyone, Andrew Jagum here. Today I want to talk about one of the more controversial topics when it comes to creatine supplementation and also a question that I tend to get uh, when I give different talks to teams, athletes, parents is, is it okay for my kid or is it okay if, if I'm a, a high school athlete to take creatine as a supplement? And there's not an easy way to answer that because kids and high schoolers, you know, obviously are, are spanning multiple years there. But if we look kind of at a refresher of what creatine is, remember it's an amino acid like compound. We produce it within the body. We get it from different dietary sources within the food and it plays a vital role in metabolism by providing kind of that extra short term energy supply during exercise or high intensity activity. And we have a strong amount of evidence that it kind of works or can improve various aspects of performance in collegiate athletes, amateur, professional athletes, and kind of everything in between. And so the same physiological rationale can really be applied to high school athletes and potentially even younger. There's not nearly as much research within this population. It's just more challenging from kind of an ethical standpoint to do uh, supplementation studies with you know, children and, and younger adolescent populations. There are several international studies that have been done um, with kind of elite international athletes or athletes competing at kind of an elite level. And those have ranged anywhere from five days all the way up to 10 weeks in duration where they supplemented uh, these athletes with creatine and found improvements in various aspects of sport performance. So the majority of this research is actually in swimmers and soccer athletes. And again, we find improvements in different you know, components of really sport specific uh, kind of performance measures, whether it's passing accuracy, dribbling speed, swim, sprint performance, etc. And so quite consistently, we see improvements in some of those different domains of sport performance, again, similar to what we see in collegiate athletes. And then more importantly, there doesn't really seem to be any adverse events reported within those supplementation studies. And then we also have, you know, a small amount of clinical research where they've actually supplemented pediatric patients uh, with creatine supplementation. And so some of the ones that are more um, likely to benefit from creatine supplementation are certain neuromuscular disorders, certain myopathies, in which these pediatric patients, again, were supplemented with creatine and found improvements in various aspects of their kind of clinical, um, you know, related, you know, issues or problems they may having. Also seem to improve quality of life, you know, certain aspects uh, of strength and functional capacity. Again, similar to what we see in athletes, just obviously a very much more specialized and kind of clinical application. And then there's even really a small amount of um, kind of a unique clinical population in which certain infants tend to have a genetic mutation where they, they actually can't produce creatine naturally within the body or they can't transport it across the blood brain barrier. And this can actually result in various neurological and developmental delays in which creatine can almost offer some life-saving treatment in those situations. So it can almost completely reverse some of those developmental delays if detected and intervened early, which is always kind of the key there. And so again, re regardless of whether we're talking elite athletes, high school athletes, or younger pediatric patients, it does appear that creatine can offer various um, degrees of, of benefits or improvements for these populations. Again, it seems to be well tolerated. Uh, really a lack of adverse events. Those pediatric studies that I mentioned are very tightly controlled. Uh, a lot of those safety markers are very closely monitored. And again, uh, no evidence that would suggest they're you know, dangerous for that particular age group. And again, within the United States, the FDA has classified creatine as generally recognizable as safe, meaning it should be safe for consumption based on kind of its intended use and application. And that designation does apply to adolescents and, and older children. So what that age is in terms of whether or not it's safe for a kid or a child to begin supplementation, again, we don't really have a definitive answer. Uh, I would be okay with, you know, 12, 13, 14 years of age. However, again, you really kind of have to ask a trained professional, uh, evaluate each situation independently. And so that's kind of my stance on creatine supplementation of kids. There's a, a small amount of research. All of it seems to be positive. Certainly more work is needed uh, with that population to kind of identify some of the more specific dosing recommendations and then just confirm uh, some of those issues regarding safety. So with that, thanks for listening and we'll see you next time.